So here's a story about a cat named Tiger. Tiger was a rescue cat. She was quite elderly, about 15 years old. And my partner and I, we often like to try rescue animals if they're having a hard time at a shelter or something. And so Tiger was the cat that seemed a perfect match for us. And she gave us the most beautiful look, as you can see, just the most adorable looking cat. That's until we got her home. And all of a sudden, Tiger became a different cat. Yes, we still loved her, but I have to admit, because she was elderly, like a lot of elderly cats do, she was grumpy, used to spit and scratch. But ultimately, like elderly cats do, one day they generally just wander off, never to return. That's often how they uh, decide to sort of pass on. In December one year, uh, Tiger moved on, and we thought, well, that's the end of her. And then we get a phone call from the ranger. Uh, February, three months later, 15-year-old cat. Ranger says, yes, we've, we've located the cat. And uh, yeah, she's ready to come back home, apparently. And that made me think, you know, as much as, you know, we tried to do the right thing by Tiger, we weren't super happy about her coming back. And it's a bit like bad sequel. Bad sequel just keeps coming back. We have all these tools at our disposal as DBAs to kill sessions and cancel SQL statements, etc. But let's face it, if someone's running a really long running query and they're unaware of why their session died because you killed it as a DBA, the first thing they do is hit refresh, give it another go. And when you cancel the SQL statement, they hit refresh, give it another go. And so bad SQL, just like our little old cat tiger, just keeps on coming back. But there are now new facilities that you can take advantage of to make sure that bad SQL once it's found isn't coming back to hurt your system. We now have a facility called SQL Quarantine. And like the name suggests, a bad SQL can be quarantined and can't do any more damage to your system. Let's look at a simple example. I do a query here. I've turned on feedback with SQL ID. It's a nice facility in SQL Plus that lets you see the SQL ID from any statement you run. I run this select count star from a huge table, and let's say we don't want that to be running again because it takes too long. Now with the knowledge of that SQL ID, I can create a quarantine on it. Now, unlike most other mechanisms we do to deal with uh, bad running SQL, we might, for example, add resource manager plans, etc., or profiles to stop it from doing too much damage after a certain amount of time. A quarantine works much more proactively. Now, when I run that SQL statement, having quarantined it, it is immediately terminated. It didn't even get a chance to start. That's what we call manual quarantining. I, as a DBA, found a SQL ID and quarantined it off. I can also pair that with resource manager to have the resource manager quarantine SQLs as they're discovered. For example, here I'm setting up a resource manager plan that says after 10 seconds, a long running SQL needs to be canceled. Let's now see that in action in combination with a quarantine. First, I'll query a relatively big table, and we can see that takes about four seconds to run, so that's not impacted by my 10 second resource manager limit. But now I query a really, really, really big table, it takes longer than 10 seconds, and as you can see, shortly after the threshold, it got canceled by the system. But now, because I've got SQL quarantine in place, when I try rerun that query, I don't even get the next 10 seconds of execution time. Resource Manager has picked up that this is a bad SQL and it has been quarantined for me and I can't run it again. This is easy to track as well for DBAs. If you look at VDollar SQL now, we've got additional columns that shows you when a SQL statement has been quarantined and how many times someone tried to execute it. So if you're looking at protecting your precious server resources from people who are running amok with rogue queries, look at SQL quarantining because it can protect you before they even run on your system.